Oi! Don't you move a fucking muscle. Do you think that's how George Washington talked? <laughs> like a like a fucking dirty chimney sweep? Oh yeah, because when America was was he over like this was Christopher Columbus days? He was like they were alive at the same time? <laughs> no. Uh fourteen ninety two. For who? Columbus. Okay. And George Washington was what, like nineteen ninety seven or something? No, like I have no idea when he walked the earth. Let's see, forty six presidents times four. N- they didn't. Th- some of them served eight. Oh, that's some crazy. of them served. Can't do that math. Hang on. So maybe that we had shed the British accent by George, George Washington, Washington time days. But I wonder how long people in America <laughs> had British accents. Yeah, and like at what point were people like shamed for it? Right. Like, Ugh. Why, Why is he talking <laughs> like a the enemy? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, because cowboy, like, I feel like it devolved from British proper English into Hello. into like Western howdy. Yeah, kind of like yeah. America, the stuff we know today. You today. know, this is American English. You know, yeah. This or Ford country. Or did the British speak like we speak today and they went back to Britain and dressed it all up? Mm. Yeah, they tried to make it fancier. No, I think it's a more devolved. It started fancy. It started like King fancy. James. Yeah. It started King James and, and Shakespeare and like, yeah. like words that we don't even know the definition of today. And, yep. And then it moved right into Chim Chimney. Yeah, yeah. You know, chim chim and a chim. And you're like, oh, that sounds so dirty. And then I guess like the origins and, and like the evolution of language is that if you move away from your proper British accent country into a more of a chaotic, less civilized mm-hmm. society, society mm-hmm. then you lose the accent. Just goes away. I mean, that's what happened in America, right? We stopped using the British accent, and we just ended up talking normal. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Like, like, we we left the British accent. For a and reason. And then this is what the language has evolved into, yeah. our current accents, American accents. Yeah. We're the further evolution of the English language. Yeah. They're the old, you know. Yeah. King James version. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. The, and it's so funny, too. So as far as who's right, we are. Obviously, America's fucking we right. We left your silly freaking accent country, <laughs> and we figured out how to say the words the right way. Yeah. We got, <laughs> we got our own island, and then we beat your asses. Like, as, as soon as they're like, oh, what is... He sounds like us, but he hates us. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, George Washington sounds like them, right? And then at that moment, he was like, nope, I'm different now. Yeah, he starts using hard R's. Hard, hard R's. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. the way that... And that's how you know the Americans from the British. The red coats and the hard R's. Yeah. I mean, it, it just goes to show that the accent side of language mm-hmm. is, like hugely societal Mm. and like you erase the civilization of britain you know the british empire and now we got colonies and basically a bunch of people just camping out until america is formed yeah and And we shed all that we shed all that fake like accent stuff and we come out with real english that we got today a real human language yeah (laughs) like a uh like they can't understand each other they still let's not pretend they still say things like fanny and seriously you know what i mean fanny imagine like having a serious conversation with someone who says fanny yeah i would call the cops (laughs) if someone used it seriously in a conversation you're you're not talking about an adult like like I think Fanny means either. Do you think it means butt or vagina? Butt, right? 
It might mean vagina. No. It might. Fanny? Yeah. My fanny. Whoa! That is... They call butt bum. Why'd you make it My a... My bum. My bum. Me bum. Yeah. My... My... How That's what they it? say, but, but, but then they, they say... Me bum. Fanny. For their vaginas. Oh, right. Me fanny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Kick me right in my fanny. <laughs> no, that that's Australian, but... Right in the fanny. Vulva. Vulva is the number one definition, and the number two is buttocks. So... It's one or the it's other. Either the it's either the vulva, <laughs> yeah, it's or the or, or the your butt. buttocks. So they use it kind of interchangeably, you know. That is so crazy. But imagine being in even imagine being in like a sexual assault case in court, and the lawyers like, and then you said he grabbed your fanny, you know, like in all seriously, guilty or not, you're giggling. All se- yeah, <laughs> in all seriousness. <laughs> He grabbed your fanny without your permission. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, how could you take that seriously? You can't. And that's why the English language has turned into where we are today. <laughs> yeah, you make it sound oh. fucking okay when you use fanny. Oh, you're making jokes now? Yeah, they got a About lot of words. sexual assault case? They got a lot of words like that. They do, huh? And I'm glad that in America here, as we've evolved the language... You know, they've kind right. of kept Stayed speaking back. the same language and we've evolved it, pushed mm-hmm. the English language forward. We've shed words like fanny to yeah. mean anything of substance that we would use in a serious setting, you know? Yeah. He what touched are, my fanny. He touched my fanny. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. He, he touched my fanny. Or That's, like even like rubbish. Yeah. Like, that's what they call garbage. Rubbish. I always thought those were, like, they go in your salads. A rubbish? Yeah. I always thought yeah, it was yeah, a vegetable, yeah. you know? <laughs> Extra rubbish, please. It's a bunch of rubbish. All their words are silly. Okay, grandfather. He touched my fanny, so I threw him in the rubbish. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, and then he threw me in the rubbish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Touched my fanny and threw me in the rubbish. Threw me in the rubbish. Threw me. With the Yeah. Threw me in the rubbish. Yeah, yeah. Right, why? <laughs> flat. My flat. In my flat. Yeah, you flat. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. <laughs> yeah, most of them have stairs. Yeah, I've seen the movie. I remember when I first heard "flat" used as a term for an apartment. I was like, Good. I was confused. I didn't. It took me a long time to make the yeah. association. Mm-hmm. You flat. I always pictured like a slab of cement. Yep, and they lived and a tent <laughs> by that slab of cement. Yeah, <laughs> it's a sleeping bag. Oh, that's the flat. That's, that's you know go to detroit that's what they mean when they say that's, <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. this is my flat, flat top yeah come on this is my flat uh, yeah my <laughs> my flat <laughs> i guess we never really answered the question when did we shed the british accent i think the moment british made fun of george washington for still talking like them he was like like, well, you still sound like one of us. Well, guess what? No, I don't. <laughs> it all yeah. sounds sounds like, you know, slightly different, though. Or was there like a generation like where all the kids, like with current immigrants, where all the kids spoke modern English and the parents all had British accents? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there would have it probably to be. had something like that. Like the That's... kids are the ones that kind of like stop saying fanny yeah and they like, started saying that sounds stupid vulva <laughs> yeah vulva <laughs> forget <laughs> fanny fanny's out yeah, yeah yeah vulva is in we're getting scientific well, yeah we're gonna talk vulva <laughs> forget that fanny that fanny talk you heard it here first american english is the correct english and mm-hmm. we've proved it here today. <laughs> <laughs> the British don't understand why Americans think their accent is funny, <laughs> you know? Right. But it's because it's the old version of our accent. <laughs> yeah. We've made it better since then. It's like if we were still riding around horse carriage, whatever. Exactly. You know, and like, we've made it better. We're driving cars now. Yeah. So... It's it's funny because it's the it's what we would hear at a renaissance fair. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what do Renaissance fairs sound like in England? The same. The fucking yeah. It's like going and seeing your barista there in a uh, gown. Yeah, yeah. They're they're not. They're like, hey, hey, Henry. Like, uh, you're dressed. That's like what it would sound like. Sound. You, you dress like hey. you're normally dressed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Dress. I usually seeing you in your apron and yeah, your work attire. Because do you think British people can tell when other British people are being extra British? Like Dude. sometimes it's like, okay, stop with the, it in it in it. You know, like a, <laughs> oi, every, oi, 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 <laughs> oi. <laughs> sometimes it's just like so British. Yeah. It's like even British yeah. people could tell. Funny. It's like when when a southern person that you know southern starts kind of putting on their southern really accent. Putting it on. Americans can tell that you're slipping it in. Yeah. On purpose. Yeah. So the Brits can. And then they're like and then they always have like the excuse like, "Oh, when I drink it, when I drink my southern accent comes yeah. out." Yeah. It is you mean. <laughs> you know. Like way south. Yeah. Did you know I had <laughs> my southern accent? Yeah. It's just my su- no, dude. You- when I drink, yeah, yeah. When I when I drink, he come out. You know, <laughs> quién sabe, we. <coughs> but it's it's so it that is so funny being like no, it's just my southern accent. Stop calling it your southern accent, Nate. You <laughs> yeah. you you mock you're, Mexicans. You're making fun of the Mexicans. <laughs> you're making fun. Yeah. No, I, I love, I love. It's porque I am from. <laughs> I appreciate the sound. Te amo, te amo mucho, mucho. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your southern accent. <laughs> yeah, how long until America is known for having a Spanish accent? That's the next evolution. You think? I think so. I want it. I want one. Oh yeah, I'll take I'll take one, dude. I'll take one. The fucking accent it, of that's lovers. The, that's yeah. the evolution of English. You know, it goes from British to where we're at now, and now it's gonna mingle with with Mexican Hispanic, and that's gonna turn into everyone in America has a we're start everyone yeah. starts pronouncing words certain ways because Mexicans do, and uh, they're the ones you know. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, that'll be fun when all America's rolling their Got R's. A, yeah. <laughs> oh, Even the most yeah. white person is like rolling their R's. <sighs> yeah. We're headed there. We're headed there. I'm ready for it. I might head that up. Yeah. I could start a Facebook group or something. Yeah. What would we call it? Next Gen English Speakers. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, because we're going from English... We're evolving to, the to language. Double English. We're evolving the language. Mm-hmm. Super English. Yeah. Spanglish. Old English, New English, Spanglish. Yeah. America can't do a fucking push up. According to a recent study, most Americans struggle to do five proper push ups in a row, and more than half of Americans are incapable of performing. 10 consecutive push-ups in a row. I could see that. Where do you fall on that spectrum? I could probably do I could probably do 50. You can do 50? Mhm. So more than 10. So you're above average. Mm-hmm. That was the average, uh, right? It was if, average. If that's the average, that's so fucking sad. I mean, push-ups are tough. Mm, I mean, the Especially yeah, the proper ones. Yeah. But if I'm like you can do ten. out of shape and I got to get into shape, I got to start with the knee ones. And then maybe a week later, I can start doing the normal ones. No. Yeah. Just to like get my my uh, mindset right. <laughs> really? Yeah. Just do you to, think you're going to hurt yourself or what? No, I think. Yeah, I definitely would hurt myself <laughs> if I like just <laughs> I, go, I go too hard, you know. I'm like, time to get fit. Let me go full blast. And, do and a then I up. hurt myself. <laughs> and then I stop. Oh, and yeah. then I don't get fit. Yeah. Yeah. You just get fatter. Like, that's that. That's the cycle of life. I could probably do, if I'm being honest, 20 real push-ups. Yeah. No, no knees. I could see that. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I'm not good at push-ups. I, thought, I got skinny arms, long arms, so it's like a mile down every time I go. It's like, <laughs> you know, it yeah. feels like 
forever yeah. to take to do one push up. These stocky dudes, they're just like, meh, 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 you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, zoo, 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 you know? And he makes those noises too. I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. People built like me understand how hard a push up can be, especially yeah. when you're out of shape. Uh, and then they're like, hold it. And what? you're like, <laughs> I'm like using just my wrists to hold myself. You look up. like a bat right before it like, yeah. fucking takes off. And these stocky guys just, you don't even see their yeah, elbows. Just... Exactly. I've also kind of tried to get back into exercising and stuff and being mm-hmm. healthy the last six months, you know? Mm-hmm. So I've gotten better at push ups, but like, I remember a time where I was so out of shape. Mm-hmm. I tried to do like five push ups mm-hmm. and I couldn't. I 20, couldn't do. 20's good. I couldn't do one. I remember being like, Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-
are we talking about? I don't know, but we just took a lovely walk and just an appreciation for the J- Japanese culture and <laughs> and the people. Started off as fucking how many push ups? Oh, uh, the push up thing. That's the right. push up thing. Yeah, yeah. I think they win. And do you, and do you think America is the lowest? In push-ups? Yeah. No, I think... Which country has the lowest average of push-ups? Oh, the lowest average would probably be America, for sure. Probably. Right? Yeah. But I. But we'd also ha- be on the highest with the extremes. Yes, that's you know what I'm what saying. I mean? the, it, we'd the have one the, guy... The guy who does the most, yes. and then the most who do the least. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's America. Yeah. Pretty much across the board, that's America. Uh-huh. On all fronts. Yep. And then, and then those who do the least complain about the dude who can fucking do all exactly. of the push-ups in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How it's not fair and how he should have to do push-ups for them. And like, guys, like I, that. I just brought America to the fucking the table. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eat. You, I beat a Japanese guy. You bigot. <laughs> I did more push-ups than a Japanese yeah. guy. Take you half ungrateful. His money. Yeah. <laughs> how many push-ups do you think your wife could do? Gun to head. Serious Knees? push-ups. No. Zero. <laughs> yeah, right? Right. What do you think? Your wife. Mm. I mean, she could probably, if you know, she could probably get one or two out. It, I don't know if Kat could get one out. There's I mean, way. there's a reason they're called girl push-ups. When you're <laughs> yeah, your yeah. I feel like just women in general aren't great at push-ups. And they are that's the why majority the, of people in our country. That's why the knee push-up exists. Yeah. It says half the country can't do push-ups. Yeah. The cr- they're just saying girls can't saying, do push-ups. And they're saying a proper push-up. Yeah, they're just saying girls With can't no do knees. a proper push-up. Yeah, yeah. The major- That's true. So it's not obese people. No, it's women. It's women. Because I feel Skewing like... Skewing the stat. Yeah. Dude. And we've solved it here today. <laughs> and, and we've proven it here today. <laughs> yeah. Women skewing the stat. Yeah. Or fat people. Probably fat people. Probably but, a combination of women, women and fat yeah, people. Yeah. yeah. Shamus and bitches. <laughs> I'm leaving for New York tomorrow. Mm. Noon flight. Which is reasonable. Don't gotta be. <laughs> you know, I don't gotta be at the airport at like six a.m. I feel like every time I fly anywhere, mm-hmm. I gotta be at the airport by like four a.m. because my flight's at six. Yeah. But this one's at noon, which is reasonable, and uh, it'll be my second time. Pretty stoked. So when did you go the first time? Like it was like mm, maybe five years ago. This gotta be one of my favorite favorite cities, dude. New York? Yeah. Have you? How many times have you been? Three, four. Okay. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to uh, Moulin Rouge on mm-hmm. Broadway. Ooh. So that'll be fun. Got to do cool. the shows. How'd you talk your wife into that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, her sister, my wife's sister, used to work on Broadway. So last time we went, we went to like three different shows. Which one? But I like musicals and theater and stuff like that so uh, our commenters <laughs> were correct yeah yeah <laughs> if you got one thing right about me i love musical theater <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny um moulin rouge huh yeah so i mean it was my wife's decision yeah i it, didn't really look into any other show so i don't even know yeah you know is it the best one i don't know the movie's cool you know I'll did th- you see the movie yeah do you yeah. think Christina- you never seen the movie? No, no, no. Oh, you don't like musicals? You're too. No, I like musicals. You're too tough for a. Uh, I like too the- tough for a musical, huh? No, I just like the gay ones. It is one of the gay no, ones. No, it's it's pretty gay. Half naked women. That is disgusting. But women like it. No, I the I liked. Was it Hamilton? I liked Hamilton. Really? Yeah. Did you see it like live or just the? No, movie? I just watched it. Okay, but I saw I Wicked never live. Saw it. Yeah, I saw Wicked. That was tight. L- I saw it in London, so they oh. all had British accents. 
That sucks, man. Did you get a it discount? Fe- well, it felt more like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it felt more like fairy tale because they had the accent. Oh, of course. Like I'm I, like Shrek. If I imagine American Wicked, I I'm bet they're like putting on a British accent. Yeah. Or maybe it's just American accent. It's but just something American about accent. the that fairy tale accent they got, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like it any, adds to the experience. Any super magical like Disney movie. Yeah. Like the godmother is yes, British. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hello, little one. Yeah. You know, I that's probably a weird one. Wish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we, in the oven you go. Uh huh. That's how, how it goes. That's how it went in the musical. Um, and we're, and we're <laughs> foodie people. So we got a bunch of reservations. We're uh, at different restaurants. Yeah. That are supposed to be good. We'll find out. We'll find out. What, what genre of food are you looking forward to? <sighs> Honestly, I'm looking forward the most to like the cheap food, like the pizza, hot dog vendor style foods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even Shake Shack because we don't really. Well, we got one here, but it's not convenient to yeah. go to. But like I like Shake Shack. So whenever I'm like out of state mm-hmm. in a place that has Shake Shack, I got to get Shake Shack. Stop you know? there. Yeah. Eat a meal. I probably get won't. Diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I probably won't get Shake Shack in New York this time, you know, because mm-hmm. there's just too many other things yeah but for some reason in my head i i put that as like a thing that i'm like if the opportunity <laughs> arises to grab some shake shack i'm there like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I can't pass i don't know that. why that's like so funny. i'm like oh i'm going out of state oh they got shake shacks in new york that's so fun <laughs> i know it's so dumb though it is but it's awesome but you know there's a couple here now. They're just like 30 minutes from me, so it's annoying to go. It's like, get it, you know, yeah. It's like, what's the L.A. Burger joint? Uh, In and Out. In and Out. Yeah. Right. It's like In and Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. We got one a couple hours from here. Right. It's like if I really want it, I can go get it. It's not out of reach. Yeah, exactly. Could you imagine uh ordering fucking what the DoorDash would be on that? Yeah. <laughs> Order In and Out. Yeah. It'd be like a four-hour trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for that guy. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> but last time I was in New York, I felt like I fit right in to yeah. the like aggressive street like <laughs> culture they got there. You're just screaming in I'm people's like, face. Exactly. I'm like, I'll snap back at anybody yeah. on the street. And I, I, it came naturally to me. It like felt <laughs> good to like someone yell something back. Someone like yell something at me and I just kind of like give them a mouthy comment as yeah. like in passing. Yeah. Like giving mouthy comments in passing is my favorite. Yeah, it's fun. There is no consequences for anything. <laughs> yeah. This is great. This is the, this is Fuck the, you. Fuck you, yeah. buddy. <laughs> yeah. New Yorkers love this kind of thing. This is awesome. Genuine interaction. I was at this bar, this rooftop bar in New York last time I went uh-huh. and it was packed like this like not fun at all the bartenders are irritated because it's just like the busiest bar ever right Mm -hmm. and i'm with a group of like five people six people maybe Mm -hmm. and we're like fishing our way through the crowd and we find this table that no one's at and it's like a it's like a standing kind of or like a tall table right you know like a bistro yeah Yeah. so we kind of sit down there and then this other dude comes over his russian dude this Russian dude comes over and is like, we uh, reserve this. And I'm like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> he didn't reserve it. First of all, it's packed in here. There's no way to reserve this table. I guarantee it. But he, but the group I'm with, not confrontational at all. So they're uh, like, oh, oh, okay. You know, willing to give it up. And I'm not. I'm like you fought it. I start to mouth off to him a little bit, right? And your wife just fucking pinches the back of your. You're like, ow! <laughs> fucking stop. So I'm, mouth- I'm not giving you the. T- <laughs> so I'm ow. like, I'm like disagreeing with him that he even reserved it. You mm-hmm. know, like, oh yeah, you reserved it. You know, like not believing him mm-hmm. as my party is walking away from it. So I see their heads in the in the crowd. I'm about to lose them as it's me and this guy at, at this table with his group standing behind him <laughs> waiting to sit down at this table. Right. And I grab the candle on the table. It's a pitch black in the club except for the candle. I grab it and I walk away with the candle so that the no. table is pitch black dark. That's so funny. 
and then I felt, and then I, like, God, I yeah. got a few steps away, and then I was like, all right. I turned back and I put it back. But then in my head, I'm like, I should have blown it out. I should have blown <laughs> it out. You know. Um, so then I put the ta- I put it back on the table, but reluctantly. And when that's what you do in New York. My brother-in-law was with us, and he was like, another dude was there. Two other dudes were there, and my brother-in-law was like, he was Russian, so I didn't want to like the Russians around here. You don't mess with Russian people around here. What are they gonna shoot <laughs> me on a rooftop? Russians are crazy. Not that cr- they're not stupid. They'll fight you for a table. That what a story. <laughs> I was ready. I was ready to what go. What a story. I would did be. the brave thing. Yeah, I made it the most uncomfortable for <laughs> the, you know. I was confrontational. That's awesome. But I like. But that's what I'm saying. Like I adapted to that New York lifestyle of just like, oh, you're gonna come boss me around with no authority, as if mm-hmm. you reserved this table in this massive crowded area, which is not true. <laughs> and you expect me to be an idiot and just be like, oh, okay, you well, know, all right. Nah, not a real New Yorker. A really real New Yorker needs not this guy <laughs> needs evidence. That's you know? so funny. Uh, Within minutes of landing in New York, yeah, Levi yeah. develops this completely different personality. <laughs> exactly. It just surprises it's you. Yelling at everybody. Your wife is like, well, who is this guy? I I thought I knew him. To be fair, I had also been trying out antidepressants for like the, <laughs> the two <laughs> months before that. And so this was like my first week and a half off of them and oh. i was feeling myself coming back like the voice in my head was turned back on that oh. had been like muted by the pills you know and i'm like i'm back baby i felt what? so like good like i felt like myself again you know oh, really because the pills didn't work you know the, obviously not if yeah, you're yeah. like back to yourself feeling it's, good it's just cussing like, it well it like, turns off part of your the voice in your head basically you know the fun voice the voice the part that i like like i like having that voice there i just wish it would shut up every once in a while you know i don't want to mute it forever right but that's the point like when you start muting it right exactly it becomes easier to mute and easier to mute yeah i was a month and a half in and i was like these don't work yeah. And so you, when I got off get, of them, mm-hmm. I felt that energy. And that's when we I'm went to back, New York. Baby. I'm like, I'm ready for anybody to come fuck at me. Fuck you and you <laughs> yeah, yeah. and you. Fuck you. And I had fluorescent yellow hair. Oh, that that is like a highlighter. Yeah. So that guy. Like the joke. So that guy with the bright yellow hair snatches the candle <laughs> off the table as he's walking away. <laughs> and then brings it back. <laughs> But that's what New Yorkers, you know? That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do, baby. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Within minutes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the last time I went to New York, too, these girls were getting harassed. So we're at a crosswalk. It's like... It's hard to believe. <laughs> yeah. It's like midnight. We're walking to the subway, and we're at a crosswalk, and these two girls walk up, and they're being followed by this guy... And he follows them and he's harassing them, trying to get their number and like talk to them. And they're just like shutting him down. And like, and then they come over and they're, they, they're like whispered towards us, save us. And I'm the only guy. So it's me, <sighs> my wife, and now these two girls who are asking us to save us from this homeless man who's probably, who's been following them for blocks, right? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what a New Yorker would do. None of my business. Push him over the cliff. Uh. <laughs> and so I have to like turn to this homeless dude and be like, what's up, man? You know, I have to like step in and be like some sort of. I don't know what they expected. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they want me to come in and save them. But what if it gets violent? Am I willing to risk my life for these girls that I that just met? you don't met? know? Yeah. No. Right. But apparently I'm willing in, enough to like step in yeah. and be like, What's up, man? So how's it going? <laughs> Having a good night? Yeah, I think that um, they're good. You know, like that type of stuff. Like he's trying to get their number. And, and you I'm said like, they're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like, like I'm 
trying to separate him from them, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're fought like we're in front of us, and this guy's now following all of us. And so we get to the subway, we're going down the escalator, and he's like one step next to me. So I turn and I'm like, You having a good night? He's like, Don't worry about what I'm doing. And I was like, Hey, whatever. It just seems like you're following us. So, like, wondering if you're, you know, what you're up to. Yeah. And then once we got to the bottom, we all, like, he kind of splits off. And then we go with the girls and, like, get on a subway. And, yeah, yeah. It was it was weird. It was like, Yeah, that's a weird you know? in- interaction. But I feel like stuff like that probably happens in New York pretty frequently. And he looked homeless? Oh, yeah. Oh. He was bumming for sure. Yeah. Eesh. I know. But he was just trying to like hit on them too. It was like he wouldn't leave them alone. Like it was, mm. it was like, what are you guys doing tonight? Where, where are we going? Where are we up to? You know, trying to like get in with whatever they're like, get with them. You know, damn. Yeah, and so it was, yeah. I mean, I had no choice. It was my wife was there. Uh. You know, like I have to help them. Or look like a complete bitch in front of yeah. my wife. I thought you were going to say, All right, I'm going to have to hear about it for the rest of my life. <laughs> no, like like she would be like, you know, help like help him, you know? You, fucking you. Yeah. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to fight this guy? Yeah. I'm going to fight this guy? Over these girls? We don't know. We don't know. No. We, we don't know how this whole situation started. Yeah, <laughs> they might be the bad guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hun, come on. This they is none pro- of our business. They could have let him on. For all we know, they <laughs> told him to follow them. <laughs> That's so funny. They want to get him in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we'll see what happens this time. I'm expecting. You know, I've heard. I've been reading the stories of people getting shot in the subway and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That'd be a cool way to go. Uh, only if it was like a one of the big stories you know yeah like one of the ones that the nation remembers for a long time the massacre of whatever no you don't want to be a part of a massacre you want to be a part of something big enough though to be remembered you know yeah yeah because if it's just a i don't like i read an article about a shooting like a couple weeks ago nobody knows those people yeah you probably already forgot the name 100 Mm percent mm-hmm I'm talking about some 9-11 level thing. Yeah. Not that. It would have to be because I'm listening to a podcast right now. I'm like 10 episodes deep on like a quadruple murder. And I couldn't tell you the victims' names right now. Exactly. exactly. I got to be in some sort of Boston Marathon or, or, you know, some sort of. uh, Or like a. Yeah. Some sort of like. some George Floyd type of thing that just like it can be small scale, oh, but just heavy where it affects the nation. Like if you were taking a, oh yeah, you know something that like next year we're like those those poor souls. We gotta remember the, the bravery of those people. Yeah, we can't forget that. That wouldn't happen in the situation you're talking about. None of that. It would be a little blurb. I know, I know, but that's what I'm saying. I know. That's what. That's the only way it'd be cool to go like that. Yes. Yeah, it wouldn't be sure. cool to go and just like you died in a New York subway. That's what I'm a, saying. Some rando S- shooting. That's what I'm saying. So like when my wife, it's gotta like, be hey, like, yeah, help yeah. him. No. Like no. You no. see any planes coming? Yeah. You, see any, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like this is gonna be a small snippet in a fucking yeah. newspaper tomorrow. I'm just I'm just one of the bodies they found in mm-hmm. the gutter. Yeah. <laughs> in the morning, you know. Yeah. I'm just a wind up for your next husband. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to leave these people to whatever it is. They're pretty. Someone will save them. Not me. <laughs> I got a life. Yeah. And we got to train. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'd be like, nope. And to be honest, they didn't say thank you. Once we got to the bottom and we See? all split ways. See? They just split ways. They didn't. They weren't like, thank you for that. Thank it was like okay now we're all going this way and it was like okay we're back to doing our own thing mm-hmm. no thank you like a real new yorker <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know fucking whores i Whor- put my life on the line for them and they didn't even like give me a like thank you they whispered save me but they couldn't whisper thank you they stole his change jar 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, save us. <laughs> <laughs> so you get in between them and the guy that's following them who's pretty sure they stole the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Don't you worry about what the fuck fight. I'm doing. I try to fight him. <laughs> you get your ass kicked. Yeah. He's just trying to get his $17 back. <laughs> yeah. 